so you're telling me it's a male chauvinist well honestly it can be it can be a male chauvinist a racist a narcissist or anything else but only when you make it that way there are two ways in which you can influence llms the first one is by providing biased data and that's the reason one of the first things that we learn in ai is the importance of unbiased data and moderation and the second one which is very common is by providing manipulative prompts when you provide controversial inputs you are going to get controversial outputs it's simple as that recently i saw a video where there was a claim stating that uh, chat gpt was a sexist because someone asked it to write a poem about rain like a male and a female the male version had used strong bold words whereas in female version it had used soft words and this apparently offended the user just think about it if the whole intention was to write a poem about rain why bring gender into the mix when you do that chatgpt is obviously going to search the internet for traits of a male and a female and incorporate it into the answer you can never control what is in the internet instead the focus should be on structuring data and refining prompts and eventually aligning it with the use case for example in sales iq we will be releasing an enhancement to the existing writing assistant feature you will be able to select tone for the writing assistant you will be having options like uh, informative polite funny but you will never see options like arrogant or impolite or, or anything of that sort even though we could and why didn't we include that because the feature doesn't need that so whenever you hear controversies about ai being biased or problematic just remember it comes down to how it's being trained or how it's being used so both the developer and the user have to be mindful of that <laughs>